Hi there, I'm Amanda Faye and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 full release episode 20. Okay, so first thing we've got to do right now is just to rest. We need to go to camp. They were mentioning wanting to sleep, so yeah, hopefully there's something good there. But we also really need to rest so that we can actually get Minthara's thing going. So, let's do that and see what happens. Okay, so Astarion has something to say. Looks like he's the only one. Yeah? Yep, he is the only one. Okay. Well then. Guess we'll just hop How on over then. Go? Is this gonna be about the uh, the tadpole? He did offer to eat a tadpole for me, so I guess we'll see. There you are. I was just thinking about you and that delicious moment we shared the other night. Huh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> are you referring to the moment when you bit me and drank my blood? The very same. I've had this condition for two centuries, but truth be told, <clears throat> you are my first. <laughs> In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. But will he ever get to? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Will he ever get the chance? I mean, I think it'd be really cool if we could, or if we had to, you know, offer up one of the companions to be his lunch. <laughs> Okay, number four, no, definitely not. She's not getting tired of her companions, she needs them. <laughs> she needs the protection they give her and she needs the camouflage that they give her. So not even in jest, at least not right now anyway. Uh, number three, kind of flirty, a little possessive, a little possessive. Kind of just funny though. I don't mind flirting with a starion. I'll shut a hut. <laughs> but as long as it's not actual going somewhere flirtation, you know? When they're just when they're just friends and they're just having a laugh, that's fine. Which is I'm hoping what number three is, because I'm gravitating towards the more possessive option there. I just don't want to be suddenly slapped with, oh you're interested in me? I thought you were with Lazelle, <laughs> you know. But they're friends, they should be able to meaningless flirt. Number two, no, I'm not going to threaten to kill him, definitely not. Then number one is, I'm sure that's the one I did as Norris, so... It's neutral, it feels neutral. So one or three. Yeah, let's just, let's just go for three. <laughs> and I thought we had something special. My mother warned me about you. <laughs> Don't worry. There's enough of me to go around. I'm a man of tremendous appetites. I don't think they'd volunteer, of course. But it doesn't make me any less curious. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. But the gift? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. <laughs> well, they haven't gotten round to her blood yet. But if it's anything like the rest of them. Exotic. Heavy, maybe. Maybe a little spicy. Oh. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. Hmm, of course you are. What's not to like about her? She's an attractive prospect. And this had better be theoretical. <sighs> Absolutely. A mere thought experiment. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Mm, and now I get to choose who I'd eat. <laughs> oh, sorry, not eat. Um, drink from. So, Gale, maybe. Maybe he is one of the goodies, so if he was bitten and met a sticky end, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but well, I mean, 
lots of people would die when he eventually exploded, but we're not saying that we would kill him. We're just saying, who would you want? So, Gale would be interesting because he's apparently just so powerful. So, you know, into the weave, I, I bet his blood would taste of magic. <laughs> so that would be interesting. Lazel, she's going to try getting her teeth into Lazel anyway. That's her romance thing. So, that's basically a given. And for that reason, she wouldn't choose her. Also, just because she can't be sure that Astarian isn't going to take her choice to mean, you know, the person she chooses is the least useful and therefore the one that we can do without. <laughs> I don't think he ever would. I don't think that's what this is. I really don't think he would uh, attack whoever you chose. But yeah, I mean, if he did try for Lazelle, then that's a... <laughs> <laughs> that would be a problem. That would be a problem between the three of us, so... Hmm. And there are some things that she doesn't want to share with her BFF, so... <laughs> Shadow Heart, though. Shadow Heart would be good. Just because of the danger of, uh, you know, an undead creature biting a cleric, that would be... It'd be a rush, but I don't think the, w the blood would be worth it. <laughs> uh, Will... Yeah, I think I think my my choice would be Will, purely because he was human. He technically still is human, but he's just been turned into a devil. Just think about how weird, how how strange, how different his blood would be. <laughs> that would be that would really be something to try. That would be yeah. And Karlak, no, because no one can get close to her or touch her without, you know, setting on fire, so... And not him, because I, I chose him as Nerys, so... That's last series. <laughs> so yeah, Will. Ooh. If I had to choose someone... Probably... Probably Will. I'll bet he doesn't taste like a human anymore. But would he really taste like a devil? Who knows how long it would take for his blood to adapt. I think that would be an unmissable experience. Interesting. I always thought he'd taste a little too sweet. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Well, have fun. Try not to bite off more than you can chew, huh? Eh, there's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. <laughs> yeah, okay, so. Well then. Nothing about... <laughs> nothing about the uh, tadpole that he was uh, going to eat for me. Well, fine. Fine, that's good. You, you, you do that. You do that. Okay. Let's... Let's start off over here with Gale. Why not? Okay, and we'll just see, we'll just go around everyone and see what they have to say. How can I help? You know, I can't quite believe you had me casting spells the other night. I didn't realize it would be so easy. I assure you it's not. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, you did well. The somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. But I was still your conduit. To perform such a feat alone requires much and arduous study. Yet it is life's most worthy pursuit in my impartial, if not humble, opinion. So he was our conduit. So those emotions most likely would have been his. Probably probably just the ones towards Mistra as well. His emotions towards Mistra. So it's a very good thing that we did not decide to kiss him. In my opinion. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, I think, I think we're good here. All right. And Will. Just what I need. The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. Uh-huh. Well, I'll leave it to it. <laughs> maybe a problem. That may be a problem. I mean... It's not like it was his 
at his personal quest this time, not really, so he shouldn't be too angry. Speak. Um, no, okay. Nothing here. Uh, we've already talked to Astarian, but we might as well see if he's got anything else to say. Yes. Nope, we're good. Okay. And yes, my heavy chests are still here. So that's good. All right, Shadow Hat. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? Things could be getting a little tense eventually. I figured I might as well ask the questions I'm curious about right now. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? Hmm. How about why you decided to worship Sharon in the first place? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. Well, I'd have to meet some first. So other than Shah worship and, you know, the tadpole, tell me something more about you. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Night orchids? Interesting. If there's ever any around, you should point them out to me. I wouldn't mind knowing what they look like. It's a deal. No. <laughs> You're so sweet. You can be so sweet, Shadowheart. Eventually, eventually I'll make a character that actually manages to romance you. I will. I will. Well, I can't think of anything else, but... Is there something you'd like to tell me? No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memory suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. And you don't feel that having your memories suppressed was... extreme? Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. Okay. I think that's it. I think we've come to the end. Okay, good. Alright, nice talking with you. And let's just go. And Kalak is the last one. What's on your mind? Nope, nothing from Kalak. Okay. Well then. I think it's time to just go to sleep. Let's check out my camp supplies. So I should be able to take everything from this and just send them to camp. Okay, we've got the Amulet of Lost Voices from Will, Sharp as ever. who should only really be, uh, okay, our camp supply, well, mm. just in case, I'm going to take the uh, potions away from Will, just in case, I can always throw them at him if he needs healing, and then we'll send all of his camp supplies to camp. Should probably do this with everyone actually. Okay, and he shouldn't have anything else over there. Keep your Starion should be okay with me. He should be okay with me for this. Okay, he's good having the keys, I think. And I'm fine with him keeping the soul coins. Okay, let's send the infernal iron to camp just in case. Hopefully he's not going to turn on me. Hopefully he won't. Let's empty all of this anyway. Okay, good. And hopefully during this, uh, during the, um, the, the siege, <laughs> the siege of the uh, Emerald Grove, we'll be able to use Lump's Warhorn. I'm really interested in how exactly that's going to work. Okay. Ah, okay. Ooh. Ah. A 
promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought Nettie might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. That's true. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. What does it mean I've not used the power? I've been using it. I used it a lot in the goblin camp. <laughs> we rested so many times, so many times to get those. Well, actually, it was only like two, two times, but still, that was two rests that we, that we really didn't need. So, of course I've been using it, honestly. How am I talking to you? Who are you? It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer. Just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. Oh, damn. To do that, okay. We'll need to think beyond local healers. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites were merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. What kind of sickness? The absolute aims are not yet clear for me. But its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than illicit spawn. They are vessels for control. Ooh, the infected hear the voice of the absolute. <laughs> and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. Certainly did. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Wow, we really owe this guy a lot, don't we? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so... You're nowhere near me, are you? So how are you protecting me? I have powers of my own. Unique powers. But know that we are alike. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Go where? Where are you? If we're really to help each other, we should be near to each other. You could join me. Just tell me where you are. Where do I find you? Tell me. No. It isn't safe. The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can. But sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Follow the cultists' trail. They will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Oh, sweetie. It surely does. <sighs> okay, so he's an adventurer. That's cool. Oh, sounds like things are updating. 
uh, prepare spells. Oh, really? You think it's a bit late to tell me that now? <laughs> they can change their prepared spells. Yes, they can. Okay, defeat the goblins completed. I surely hope not. <laughs> Don't suppose anyone's got a thing over their heads? No. No. Okay. Okay. Well. Alright then. Never mind. <laughs> so. Where is the goblins thing? Not that. Uh, it's uh, the Druid's Grove. Here we are, okay. Defeat the goblins, complete. Killing the goblin leaders no longer matters. Minthara left with her band of raiders and they're going to attack the grove. Yes. Yes, they are. How terrible. Okay, raid the Emerald Grove. Minthara and her warband have set out for the grove. They're waiting for us to infiltrate it. Okay. And save the refugees. Uh, report to the tiefling leader. The goblins are about to attack the grove. If we want to save the tieflings, we need to get back to the grove to protect it. And fast. Okay. We will do that. We will... Well, we won't be going to protect it. We will be going back to the emerald grove. <laughs> we certainly will be doing that. Oh, okay. Well then, Gail. For you. Let's have a look at your spells. Mm, he could learn more spells. I mean, we do have enough gold. A Featherfall scroll. That might be a good idea for him to, uh, to actually learn. Flaming Sphere. Does he not have Hold Person? No. Well, he can learn it then. Well, let's just learn those. Five new spells. Good. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let him learn dark vision. Just so he has it. Let's give him hold person. Does he need mage armor if he's got mirror image? I'm not sure if he can use both of them. Whoops. Okay, what was why? Because <laughs> what was why? Because someone just used something. Short rest. Oh, that's what why is. Short rest. So I short rested at camp, basically. I just made them. <laughs> I just made them short rest right now. Amazing. Okay. Well, at least. At least we didn't lose anything really useful <laughs> god anyway never mind and I think we're good with all of the spells that he's got anyway don't want to change anything on will yeah we're good Still okay alive. let's so talk with Carla progress. see if she's got anything to say this morning since the quest was updated another visit from the golden paladin helmet it said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. Well, I'd rather know what the tadpole can do, you know? Especially if we're going to be going to Moonrise Towers at some point. It's a fair point. I just don't want to take a short-term boom. I want to win this whole thing! To finish off the cult! To get this tadpole out! To stay sane the whole time! Okay. Well then. Let's leave. Shadow hurt. I had another dream. Which, I suppose, means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the absolute, but wants us to embrace the tadpole. Venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. Yeah, it's possible. It is possible. 
Okay, doesn't look like she has anything to actually say about it though, but yeah. What? Living A trap? Head. Never. Nah. Nah. Astarian. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. What kind of Rather gift? generous, if you ask me. Why are you getting gifts and I'm not? <laughs> what? What do you mean, gift? Honestly. Yeah, it is generous. And we can use that. Any advantage these tadpoles give us will be useful later. And while we're at it, we can see how many more of these little worms we can harvest. Now, was there anything else? He wants to harvest the worms. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well then. Uh, Lazel. Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the Absolute Cultist's lair, and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how aloof. You've no idea what damage it could do to us, how far into a lithid madness it could drag us. Damn, she's persuasive too. <laughs> you are persuasive too, Lizelle. Um, well, according to our visitor, all we have to do is follow the cultists, and we'll find where the tadpoles are coming from. I think that might be worth doing at least. Yes, the Disproves. one truth that fell out of its cankered lips. <laughs> there will come a battle. But it will be one with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. Hmm. Mind games. You think this creature will keep coming back? It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a geish elder. But I believe they serve a greater master still. What kind of greater master? A question that burns in my belly day and night. Elders and collectives abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. Oof. Yeah. She's so smart. <laughs> She's so not taken in by this thing. But unfortunately, we are, so yeah. Catch you later. <laughs> Let's move on and talk to someone else. Will. I had another dream last night. The visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift too. Seriously? Just like it did the first time it appeared. Is everyone getting gifts? I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet, I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. What powers? <laughs> what powers? Honestly. <sighs> You're right, Will. The plan that works is the one that gets us into this cult. Very well. If it's mind games these parasites wish to play, we'll play. And we'll win. Damn right. I would have eaten you. <laughs> there we go. See? See? Will knows. Will gets it. So, Gale. I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the absolute. To infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers. 
<sighs> the result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Right? Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. Exactly, yeah. Honestly, Lizelle, she's just... She's overreacting. We have the right of it here. <laughs> uh, okay. Absolutely. These tadpoles mean to end us. There's nothing to be gained by holding off on the powers they provide. We should use it. As existential evils go, the Absolute certainly seems an adversary worth holding in its tracks. Any opportunities for us to indulge our tadpoles' capabilities are hardly on the same scale. Trifles, when one considers the bigger picture. Exactly. Okay. And that's it. So... We don't ever get to talk to Withers about this, I'm guessing. He never just mentions, by the way, <laughs> your tadpole is uh, going to make it hard for me to bring you back or anything or... Nope, he has no wisdom. I doubt it. Anyway. Okay, well. Let's get out of here then. Oh my god, did I just press? Oh, thank god. Thank god, I thought I just pressed long rest again. <laughs> that would have been uh, awkward. That would have been awkward. Can we, if we long rest twice, do we miss... <laughs> do we miss the attack on the grove? That would be hilarious and terrible as well. That would be terrible, but still. <laughs> still. Okay, so. What do we have left? The Githyanki Patrol. Okay. Rescue Volo. Not happening, Volo. Sorry. Uh, Auntie Ethel's help. The cellar in the Blighted Village. Okay, yeah. We still need to do that. And... Either report to the tiefling leader or secure the emerald grove. Okay. Let's... Let's try Moll one last time. I just... I have to know. I have to... I have to try. The kids have disappeared. I'm hoping that that's a good thing. Let's have a look in the concealed hatch. I'm gonna kill five goblins. So, I can take ten. Uh -huh. I'll take a hundred. You can't even count to a hundred. I don't have to count. I just have to hit them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you do. Okay, what about you, Aid? You can hide in here if you like. No one's getting past us. Okay. You should be manning the wall. I wanted to, but Asherak says I'm needed here. Right. He is needed here. Okay, so they all they all know this is where the kids are hiding out. Good. And over the horizon, they saw a ship. Like some great beast. Oh, Alfira is down eyes, here. Wandering eye. Interesting. So There's Mol. Well, because Baldurin travelled far and so much. Let's but see if, he finally talks to her. if any of your stuff goes missing, just let me know. Your family now. Oh, damn it. Don't don't and do so that to me, hon. To don't do him. that to me. Baldurin. She's still radiating Baldus. me, Sylvanus's blessing. That's adorable. Ah, Arabella is down here. Okay. Well let's see if we can talk to Alfira. Yes? I'm pretty certain if I stop for too long, they will actually eat me. Are you sure you know the story you're telling them? As a halfling's hoof, I should hope. Now's the time for cheerful lies, as my master would say. If today's to be something worth singing about, get up there and make sure it's a happy song. God damn it. Uh. Some fairy tale is all we have left. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> Come on. Get to the walls. Beat the goblins back. Trust me. It's an easier job than this. Yep, okay. There's nothing we can do here. We can't... We can't actually help them. The Harpy Killer! Are you here to save us? Like 
Baldy Ron save the city? Baldy Ron. Okay, that's kind of funny. Oh, you mean Baldoran? Isn't he the one that she's telling you a story about right now? The founder of Baldur's Gate? What's a founder? The lady said he saved Baldur's Gate and became a hero! And God raised damn. a wall to protect his people. And Arabella? And so they named the city. She's talking! I mean, Baldur's yeah. Gish. She's getting to the good part! Alright. Well then. <laughs> oh my god. Some dumb fairy tale. Don't worry. Mattis says the goblins can't get inside if we're quiet. Oh, sweet enough. And over the horizon, <laughs> they saw a ship. Like some great beast. You can leave your valuables with me if you like. Goblins strip the dead down to the last stitch. So I hear. They better hope they don't kill me then. Or they'll be coming for you afterwards. So you say? Survived Avernus, though. More than you've done. Yeah, sure. 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 Okay, let's get out of here before I actually start wishing death on these children. And over the horizon, they saw a ship. Okay. It's a shame. I would have really, really preferred. Oh, and Umi is over here. Really preferred if we could have allowed, allowed Mol to get out of here. Maybe... Maybe they will. Maybe they'll get out the hole. You never I know. I don't want to fight goblins. You can't make me. Hunt. Wow. We don't need to make you. The goblins will themselves when they come down here and murder you all. And then eat you. <laughs> Soft kids. And over the horizon. How annoying. Okay. And I don't suppose... No, there's no one over there. That's fine. Well then. That's it. We just... We can't do anything to help the children. So. Donnie! Okay. I mean, she knows all the kids are down there, doesn't she? Please. Have you seen Donnie anywhere? Young boy, doesn't talk. We need to get him into the cave before the goblins come. I haven't seen him. I'll keep an eye out. I appreciate it. He's the one who showed us the cave to begin with. We won't seal it up until he's safe with the rest. Ah, okay. So Donnie showed them that that's where Mull's hideout was. We don't have time for this, Donnie, so they didn't know that's where all the kids were. They didn't know until Donny Donny showed them. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we never saw the uh, the woman in here who was uh, paralyzed, did we? Is she paralyzed? <laughs> Is she actually here? We probably don't need to go through that door, actually. No, we can just go all the way round. So, yeah, I would like. I would like to collect all of these things though. I'll take that. Exactly, hun. You will take that. You will take everything that you possibly can. And I suppose I might as well check those chests now, just because I haven't before. Yep, and I want to make sure that they uh, show up as empty. There we go. While we're here. Okay. Let's come this way and jump up there. We might as well. Perception successful. Oh, oh, Astarian. No, Gale. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Guys, really. Oh. There we go. Honestly. They shouldn't be going in front of me. Why are they why do they go in front of me? 117 gold and a bloodstone. Sweet. Pick it up. Why not? Can't do anything with the statue. I'm missing someone. Will. 
sharp as ever. Apparently not, since you apparently can't jump. Keep in pace. All right. What okay. Now? Wonder if the gods are watching me. And is that person through there? No. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. That means I should be able to steal some stuff. I hope. I really hope. Okay. I know this is probably not the time to be doing this, but I need to. <laughs> can you get down there, hun? Yes, you can. Okay. Well, let's get into sneak mode. Out of mind. And let's read the druid's ledger. Yep, and we might as well steal it all. There's a... there is a mirror? There's a mirror right there. Not bad. I've had better days. And worse ones. Okay, just because I'm really curious, what does he say? I don't need a reflection to know this looks fabulous. Oh, oh. I know. You might as well just attack it anyway, though. There we go. Quite a nice little hall there. Mostly of camp supplies. Nothing, nothing really useful. Not really. Okay. And we can't do anything with that barrel right there. Okay, I think that's it. So we might as well check out this, see if he's hiding through here before we go to the rest of the, uh, the grove and have a look around there. I wonder if you can let Minthara through here. That would be fun. Waiting with bated breath. These yep. boots have seen everything. Okay. Don't need to sneak anymore. Let's go. Okay, so, Donny. One day I'll catch a break. Anyone. Is this guy still here? That no, he is not still here. Okay. Well, well, well. He is not still here. Okay, but the runes are still all off. They are still all off. But yeah, no, no halfling druid guy. That's interesting. Why? Did someone else come and save him? Is that what happened? Maybe. Okay, and this way... is just the stone door. Okay. Well, no Donny. No Donny, not that I've seen anyway. Unless he's right by the door. No. No? Okay. Okay. Why is it showing me that? <laughs> As if it's something new? It really isn't new. It really isn't new. But whatever. Let's go. Where is everybody? Because not everyone was in that cave.
a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff now. Um, I don't think there's anything we've actually picked up that's going to be all that useful. Breastplate plus one, maybe? Maybe? A uh, scorpion helmet is light armor with plus one to dex saving throws. Does anyone... Maybe I'll give it to you. What do you have? Just a leather helmet, which is exactly the same as the scorpion, so... Don't mind me. Let's give it to Will. Out of sight, out of mind. Yep, keep that helmet hidden at all times. Okay, nice. Well then. We can probably stop hiding now and just get down here. We'll see if Tilsa's has anything to say about Donny. Good to see a familiar face. I have the strangest feeling every time you pass by. Like you're meant to be here. Well, isn't that nice? Isn't that sweet? Okay. I'm so glad you think so. Breathe deep and move. Yeah, okay. I doubt there's going to be anything down there that we'll need. The druids are probably all holed up in um inside. Yeah. I wonder I wonder if if I hadn't have uh, stolen the idol already and I had left it this late would the idol now be there completely unguarded is that was is that something that could have happened I could have just waited until now and taken it without any worry Are we going to have to look for Donny out by the uh, happy area? Is that where he's going to be? I mean, I'll have a look, but I don't care if we don't find him. Oh, go away. Oh, there's Donny. He's right there. Well, in that case... Never mind then. We've, we've already found him. Let's just go straight down there. Over there. Eh, 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 okay. Let's have a look at that haystack. A pouch. Sweet. Okay. Now. Another step forward. Let's get down to, uh, down there. Okay, Donny. Oh, these are not steel now. <laughs> Good to know. Okay. <laughs> oh, psh, is that it? That's it. Locked from the inside. Oh, they've locked it from the inside, have they? Go away. Well, well. <laughs> Nothing down there. Fine. So, maybe that's what Donnie is down here for. Maybe he's angry that they're hiding. But, I mean, they did just want to be left alone. <laughs> they did just want to be left alone. So, hmm.
Okay, a magnifying glass. There's a lot of nice things in that. There was a lot of nice things in that. Um, did we move the rock that was down here? Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a tiefling right there. Let's see what he says. Thunder to light, Saluna to guide, Kelimvor to show mercy. What is it? I'm, I'm busy. You don't seem all that busy. Why? Because I'm not sharpening steel or strutting on the wall. Okay. You should be manning the wall. We need you up there. Yeah, alright. Oh. <laughs> Double clicked. I forgot I could do that, but I Damn don't really like watching the roll. Fine. Hey, they approve. See what I can Sweet. Do. Maybe I'll manage to take a goblin down with me. Okay. I hope I don't need to go around every single tiefling and make sure that they're actually going to be doing something in this fight. Um So there was a there was a bear down here. Uh, okay, the amulet of Sylvanus. <laughs> I found that in my last game and I never thought to come down and grab it. What an idiot. Okay. What an idiot. Well, never mind, we have it now. So, hopefully, since we have actually found Donnie, we'll be able to just tell that woman up there that he's down by the door and then they can sort that. They can sort it themselves. I should speak Donnie! Off. I need to find Donnie. Really? Hunt. We found Donnie. He's right down there. I need to find Donnie. Should I should Should I have found Donnie first? Should I have gone and spoken to him first and then Cause it doesn't seem like Donnie! I can I can talk to her now. now. I guess I've uh, missed my chance there. Alright. Well, time to get to the wall then. Where are we? We're all the way up here. Yes. Get on up on the wall. What have we got here? Pendurna. And someone called Gwex. Yep. Zevlar right there. Elgis. Lacrissa. Ashrak, okay, Kaldani. Quite a few tieflings right here. Quite a few. So. Do we have to go down there to start it off? Is that. Do we have to go down there? And then maybe just show them the way through the other door? Really? A uh, concealed oil barrel. Okay. Maybe. Unless it's the gate winch that we need to... Do we need to open the gate? Is that it? Honestly. Yep, okay. So, I, I've already found Donny, but I can't help. They're waiting for us to infiltrate it. Well, we are in here. We are in here, so... I don't know. Can we, can we actually throw a barrel down there? Is that... Would that actually... No, there's no way that'll actually work. 